Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to prepare an SD card for installation of the more incredible incredible bash. So here's the SD card. I'm going to place it in the card reader. And over here I'm on the GitHub project page for the more incredible bash. And if you go on the right side and scroll a little bit down, there's a section called releases. So if you go to releases, you will see all the recent versions. Yeah. And we are interested in the most recent one. So let's go to the top and over here you can download the source code. So there's, that's the first thing that you will need. And in other tab, I'm on MIP solution one. And over here, I'm interested in this package, which is half a gig. It contains a lot of patches. So we want to download this as well. Okay, so if you have those two things downloaded, you want to format the SD card first. So let's right click on the SD card, go to format. And over here in this new window, we want to make sure that the file system is set to FAT32 by default. And the allocation size is rather small. Uh, name of the card doesn't really matter. Okay, so we can start the formatting process just press ok uh, to confirm that you want to do this this will erase everything what's on the sd card it's important to use a quality sd card because you are going to be using this one to install uh, things into your MIB unit as well as backup things to it when you are modifying something in the system okay so it's done we can close this formatting window Let's open the SD card and you can see that's it, that it's empty. We have just some system files that should not be visible over here, but I have uh, set up my, uh, my laptop over here. So it shows even the hidden files. Okay. And on the right side, we have two things. We have the more incredible, more incredible bash package 360.zip and we have the uh, package with the patches. So we want to right click on those and extract them. And here and here I have those two extracted. So right now let's go into the more incredible bash. And you want to take all those files and drag them to the SD card. And it will, it will take about half a minute. So let's wait. I believe it's done. So right now on the right side, on the SD card, open the patches folder and you will see it's almost empty. And of the on the left side, on our download folder, let's go up, let's go to the patches directory and we have a lot of stuff over here. And we are going to select all and drag them to the patches folder <coughs> on the on the SD card and once again this will take some time so let's give it a couple more minutes we are almost done it's asking about some files that has to be overwritten so we are going to allow this and it's very close to the end I believe it's done so right now let's close those things and over here Let's safely eject the SD card. We can remove it from the unit, uh, from the reader, and place it in the unit, in the SD1 port. Maybe let's start the unit first, just so we are sure that we see everything that's going on over here. So start the unit. If you are doing this in the vehicle, turn on the engine or at least turn on the ignition. Um, wait a couple of seconds for the unit to start. You can check if it's uh, if it started by going to, for example, navigation. If it's still loading, you will see something like this. So give it a couple more seconds just to uh, be sure um, that it started fully. You can also press and hold the menu button and uh, check if you can see the hidden menu. If you see something like this, this also means that the uh, system is still loading in this unit. So we still need to wait just to be safe. We don't want to rush it 
we have all the time in the world yeah okay so it looks like it's okay right now let's place the card we should see information about software download detected so right now we are going to press and hold the menu button go to software download go to update SD card and it will show you free for all MIB launcher select this and right now you want to press start okay it looks like it's done so we are going to press close cancel and right now unit will going to reboot so it will take about half a minute or something like that you still have the uh, memory card in the sd1 port so we are not touching anything we are just waiting patiently for the unit to reboot since uh, this is my bench setup and there's no ignition signal i'm going to press over here but if you are in vehicle you will not need to do this since your ignition on signal is sent to the unit so right now i believe that the unit is on we can go to menu navigation just to check no it's still loading okay so let's press and hold menu right now and uh, wait for the service mode to be loaded okay and once again press and hold the menu button and this time keep it pressed for about 10 seconds if you are doing this in audi you have a different button combination to enter the uh, green menu but over here in skoda volkswagen and seat you are pressing the menu button for 10 seconds and select green engineering menu and over here we should see that there's a new option called mib and when you enter it you have this safety notification and when you scroll down you have interesting options okay so i'm not going to um, talk details about those things but this is the most interesting one patch unit all in one and here's the button that you want to press in uh, in order to perform the system patching and to exit this menu just press menu or so on and also notice if i recall correctly if you remove the card you should be no longer able to enter the uh, more incredible bash option in the green menu so let's check if that actually is true let's go to green menu and yeah mib right now is missing missing from the green menu so you have to put this card in the unit in order to uh, perform some modifications this is a safety mechanism it uh, it will force you to have this card um, because on this card there will be backups stored each time you are going to uh, perform some changes so this is for your own safety this is a great idea to force the user to use a backup card to place it in the sd1 in order to do anything over here okay so that's it